Good morning, Smith Station. This is Carly Cooper, and welcome to your latest edition of PNN. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention salute pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here are today's birthday shout outs. We sing happy birthday to you and may all your dreams come true. Happy, happy birthday. Athletic letterman jackets can be ordered today from Balfour. See Coach Nelson if you have any questions. Seniors, you are given graduation guidelines in your homeroom. Please get these signed and back to your homeroom teacher as soon as possible. Now here's today's lunch menu. Today for lunch, you'll be having corn dog or pepperoni pizza. Your sides are lima beans, french fries, and fruit. Here's Jason with high school sports. Tonight begins a busy week in sports as the wrestling team hosts the first round of state duels against Hoover. They will also have senior night tomorrow night and will be having the Smith Station Invitational this Friday and Saturday. The boys and girls basketball team will both be traveling to Central on Friday night. Go out and support all your Panthers this week. This has been Jason Williams with your high school sports. Now here's Jake, one of our high school sports anchors that got the chance to interview a Smith Station alumni. I had the chance to speak with Alani Sutton, Smith Station alumni, about her track and field career at Tennessee. Here's what she said. She informs us of some of her goals for the rest of the indoor and outdoor season. I do have a couple goals for myself this season. I have numbers that are in my head that I want to get for both long jump and triple but I don't want to limit myself to those numbers because I feel like I could get those numbers, I could go higher, but I also don't want the pressure of everyone else to go get after those numbers. Um, but I feel like my biggest goals for myself this season is to be consistent and to be an asset to my team. And the way that training has been going, I definitely feel like I've accomplished all of my goals. Here's Alani telling us what her mindset was going into her first meet. Coming into my first collegiate meet, I wasn't as nervous as I thought I would be. And I think that's a big thanks to my coach because he put us all in a good headspace and he was just telling us how much we could just go out there and have fun. And we were only coming from short approach, so it really just wasn't that much pressure. And I think it was a great situation to go out there and get a good open to the season. She tells us how her mindset has changed now that she has a meet under her belt and a school record to her name. It feels good to have my first meet under my belt already because the anticipation of the whole first collegiate meet is gone. And as far as the school record goes, I feel as if it was definitely unexpected. Um, it's just something that happened, and I'm so glad that it happened. The record has been there for a pretty long time, so that's a, a huge honor to have. But I also feel as if next week we're coming from full approach, so me and my teammate are definitely both going to break it. I'm not sure who's going to get it at the end, but it will definitely be broken probably several more times this indoor season. And yeah, so I feel like I'm thankful to have done it and it's a, it's a great feeling to have, but I don't want to stay there because I know there's more. Alani talks to us about her possible Olympic career. I feel like majority of people that run track want to make it to the Olympics because it's one of the, if not the biggest things that you can accomplish in the track and field world. Um, as it is one of my goals, I sat down and me and my coach had a talk about all of our goals for the season and my whole track career. Um, and he just told me that I can accomplish these things and I have to do that by trusting what we're doing every day. It's not something that is just going to happen. It's a lot of hard work, which I definitely feel like I have put in and I need to put in as much as I can and I'm willing to do everything that I can to accomplish that goal. This has been Jake Billingsley, PNN. Do you love playing video games like me? Smith Station will be starting its first ever eSports team. Here's more information. Students who are a part of this team will have the opportunity to play the League of Legends as a high school team competitively against other high school teams around the state of Alabama, including Central. There will be a parent meeting on Monday, January 28th at 6 o'clock Eastern Time in the library for students who are interested. Please see Ms. E. Whitlock in the downstairs assistant principal's office for more information. Check out Cam's segment on what's new in entertainment. If you're looking for easy entertainment, here's what you should watch or listen to. For movies, we have Aquaman. Arthur has to go on a dangerous adventure to defeat King Orm to win back Atlantis for the better good. 
Next, Glass, the sequel to the hit movie Split, where the deranged character Mr. Glass and his new acquaintances try to break out of an insane asylum and wreak havoc on the town. Finally is Escape Room, where six strangers travel to a mysterious building to experience the Escape Room, a game where players compete to solve a series of puzzles to win $10,000. For TV shows, you should watch Stranger Things. This thrilling Netflix original drama is a story about when Royce's 12-year-old son, Will, goes missing. She launches a terrifying investigation into the, his disappearance with local authorities. As they search for answers, they unravel a series of extraordinary mysteries involving secret government experiments, supernatural forces, and a very unusual little girl. Another is Riverdale, a subversive take on Archie and his friends exploring small town life, the darkness and weirdness bubbling beneath Riverdale's wholesome facade. After the death of one of the rich and popular Blossom twins on the 4th of July, the small town of Riverdale investigates the murder. Lastly is The Haunting of Hill House. This modern reimagining of the Shirley Jackson novel follows siblings who as children grew up in what would go on to become the most famous haunted house in the country. Now adults, they are forced back together in the face of tragedy and must finally confront the ghost of their past. For music, we have Thank You Next by Ariana Grande, Speechless by Dan and Shay, and Neat by Q Money. Now here's Carson with an explanation of some slang words. We went around asking teachers what they thought these slang terms meant. Here were their answers. Sis, yeah. that's, that's like a brother, not a brother, but a sister. A person who's like bigger than life or like in charge. Big dog is like where you're near the stud, you're the man, you know, you're the big dog. Big dog? Big dog probably means that there's, you have a big dog or big dogs are around. Someone who thinks highly of themselves? Um, uh, what? <laughs> Clout? Yes. I, I don't know. Now here's Jalen with the 2018 review. That's all we have for you today, Smith Station. Before we go, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors and have a good day. Suncatcher's Tanning and Gift Boutique offers UV and sunless tanning as well as great boutique and gift items. We are open Monday through Friday from 10 to 8 or Saturday from 10 through 6. You can come check us out in person or give us a call at 334-384-9968. We also have a student and teacher special which includes unlimited UV tanning in our platinum beds or unlimited Mystic HD spray tans, plus 10% off boutique items, 20% off tanning lotions, and 30% off Mystic HD add-ons.